Hello, I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. We are tracking Aaron. The latest update as of the 10 a.m. advisory National Hurricane Center giving this a category five status right now. We're seeing winds at 160 miles an hour moving west at 17 miles an hour. Pressures at 917 millibars. You're able to see that distinct eye of the hurricane as it moves north of the Leeward Islands and it's going to slightly miss the Caribbean islands and San Juan, Puerto Rico. But as we look at the rain, you're able to see those outer bands of those showers and storms making it all across the Caribbean. They're seeing some showers and storms out over uh, San Juan. But as we look at the latest track, the hurricane hunters are now flying through the storm and they are now sending back some data with the storm. And that's why the National Hurricane Center just upped it to a category five storm. It's rapidly intensified to category five within the past 12 to 24 hours. And so definitely seeing rapid intensification with this storm. And as we look at the forecasted track, the good news is that the storm is expected to remain over open water. However, it's going to cause high rip current risk as well as high surf all throughout the Caribbean and even the eastern seaboard. So this is going to remain over open water. It likely could impact the island of Bermuda as we head into the coming days. So category five status right now. It is going to weaken into a category four as it makes its way just off the coast of Florida, eventually moving off towards the northeast over the Atlantic, ultimately becoming a fish storm. So as we look at the quadrant risk, the parts of the hurricane that are the most hazardous, it's that uh, right side. Usually we have the more increasing risk of winds, tornado, storm surge and flooding, especially when it approaches land. And this is important to know because it really depends on where you're located when it comes to a hurricane. And that's what we're expecting to see, especially as we head close to the peak of hurricane season. As we look at the weather models right now, I'm going to go ahead and replay that back towards us uh, within the past several uh, days. Both the American and the European models are in agreement that it's going to remain over open water. So that's good news for the continual U.S., but we are expecting uh, the development areas in the months of September as we head close to that peak date, very well taking that track off over the Atlantic. So it's usually when we see those storms that are south of the Caribbean, that's where we have to start worrying about that. So if you're seeing storms out in the Atlantic and it's taking more southerly track south of Puerto Rico, that's where we usually start seeing the more increased risk of this moving into the Gulf as we get closer towards that peak date. So the peak of hurricane season, once again, on September 10th, we are getting closer to that within the coming weeks, but it's important to realize that uh, we've seen some of our most notable storms here across the Gulf Coast. In August and September, we had Hurricane Katrina, we had uh, Hurricane Harvey, as well as Hurricane Ike definitely happening during this time as we get into later August. So be on the lookout for that as we head into the next few days or actually the next few weeks. So, of course, if you're just now joining the live stream, we are tracking the latest on Hurricane Aaron. This uh, latest update from the National Hurricane Center has given it's they're now considering a category five storm. This is a wide view and you're able to see that distinct eye uh, with the storm as it's uh, moving north of the Leeward Islands. So winds right now at 160 mile per hour. We're seeing it moving west at 17 miles an hour, 917 millibars. And so it's barely missing the Leeward Islands, especially in the Caribbean, but they're dealing with some widespread rain out there, especially for the folks that are probably going on those last minute vacations. Some heavy rain happening all across uh, from St. Thomas to Puerto Rico, as well as uh, the hurricane hunters. They're still flying through the storm. They're on the way back, I believe. I think they're moving, they're flying southeast. That's the latest data. Uh, and they've sent back that data within the past 30 minutes to an hour. And that's why the National Hurricane Center has uh, increased the category to a category five within the past few, within the past 30 minutes. It happened just before the 10 a.m. hour. So Hurricane Aaron, category five storm, Winds at 160 miles an hour, moving west at 17 miles an hour. The latest track still over open water, not expected to impact the East Coast U.S., still remaining rather in warmer waters. We're seeing warmer temperatures as well out in the Atlantic Ocean uh, during this time of year. And so as we get closer to the peak of hurricane season, uh, the good news is that models are in agreement that this storm is going to remain over open water, might impact the island of Bermuda as we head into the next uh two to three days and it's very well possible that we're seeing it take more of that east coast atlantic uh, track 
especially as we get closer towards September. So as we look at the peak of hurricane season, of course, you have to stay up to date with the latest on the tropics as we get closer to that peak date. And like I said, most of our notable storms happening in the months of August and September. And so as we head in the coming weeks, we will definitely keep you up to date on the latest on the tropics as we head into the beginning of September. And as always, you can stay up to date with the latest forecast on KHU.com and on the KHU 11 app. Again, I'm meteorologist Christian Marys with your tropics update.